Well hello again, it's Cliff here from Down Under. In this video series, I want to go through making the Hallmark ITTP Pro bodies as an example of medium scale batch production. So it's going to be parts production from small CNC machines like the Tormax. So I'll start right at the beginning with the raw material and setting it up in the Tormac lathe and machining one end, spinning it around, machining the other end, setting up the tools and discussing all the little tips and tricks along the way. Then the next stage will be setting it up in a little three axis mill, machining the top portion or the end portion of the body, setting it up the next if, it, if you like, it's a video book, but a hands-on book. There could be chapters or episodes. The next chapter might be uh, doing the fourth axis machining and so on. So I'll, I'll go right from the beginning. Hopefully I'll get as far as the final part. And it'll be a great opportunity to demonstrate different setups, different machining techniques, tips and tricks along the way. And I'll also mention other videos that are relevant so that you can go through and find those in the uh, Thread Express YouTube uh, playlists. Well, before we get down to the nitty gritty of each chapter or episode, I'll put in a quick montage, just giving you an overview of what these videos is about. So you can put it in context and see where it's all going and where you have been been before if you've watched other episodes just to bring it all together at the beginning of each video. Cheers. Okay, well let's begin manufacture of another run of the ITTP bodies. So the first stage is to cut a bunch of uh, billets of the 6061 aluminium to the length of just over two parts. You may not have seen my earlier videos where I talk about back-to-back -back machining. That's when you make two parts out of one piece of stock. And it's a really good system when you're making larger parts on a small lathe when you can't run the stock through the spindle which is obviously the best way to do it if you've got a big machine you can just run the stock right through the spindle and even auto feed it each time but when you are making larger parts that don't fit through the spindle you can bore out the front of a three jaw chuck if necessary but you can't run the stock through the spindle so you machine all of one end and then reset your program with a parting move and then machine all of the other end and you're not penetrating too far into the spindle Now we're going to set those billets of stock up in the Slant Pro 
and we've got the six inch chuck in there and the stop in there and let's just go through briefly the tools so the main turning tool is a trigon triangular tip here carbide tip for facing and turning first tool is that second tool is a quarter inch spotting tool then we go to a pilot drill I think that's about a 9.5 then another drill here and uh, finally the biggest drill you want to use drills as much as possible they're much more efficient for removing uh, metal quickly than a boring bar um, and I've got a special reduced angle on the end I've ground that with a very shallow angle so there's less boring to uh, flat bottom out that bore then I move to this boring bar here bore out the bore take a finished cut with the trigon tool to clean up the surface in case there's any scoring during the roughing procedure and then that's one side done and on the second side I use this ISCA parting tool add that to the program and uh, so that after the second side's machined it can be parted off I can set the uh, tool offsets very quickly using uh, the Hallmark lathe tool setter um, that sets the X and Z offsets very quickly um, you're probably familiar with this product so I won't detail it here but just reminding you that that is available on the Hallmark website for setting your tool offsets and orientating your tools when you're mounting them very quickly For side two, I've set a special stop up which is able to be adjusted radially concentric with those four adjusting screws. And that's really important because, especially when I machine each end of it when it's cut off, I need the part to run really concentric. And if you just hold it relying on the three jaw to hold it concentric, even if it's slightly off on an angle that way, say one thou off, the jaws probably won't pull it into alignment, but if you ring it onto an adjusted concentric radial stop, then the jaws will hold it exactly concentric in an alignment. If you're interested in this sort of thing, have a look in the, web, uh, in the uh, YouTube channel playlists under lathe, and you'll see a video on this sort of subject on stops. 
Throughout the course of this video series, I'll mention different videos that I've made on specific subjects. And to help you to find those, if you go to the Thread Express public uh, homepage, you should see a page like this. Um, most of you will be familiar with this, but if you click on the playlists here, then you'll see all the different subjects split into categories. For example, you might be interested in spindle tapers, R8 versus TTS and so on, versus BT30 or whatever subject. Just go to the playlists, find the group of videos, grinding related. You'll see there there's a whole lot of videos on, uh, for example, dressing your D-bit grinder diamond wheels. Um, so just, just um, refer to it that way would be the quickest way to do it. There's uh, several hundred videos there all together. So side two is pretty much the same as side one, except I've added in the little parting section and changed the uh, Z uh, work offset position. Um, but otherwise it's the same. I don't quite part through 100% uh, because it damages the part when it flies off and um, or damages the lathe. And it doesn't take a second to zip off that tiny little shim of metal still holding the part on. So there we have that stage completed. Another bin full of swarf. Well if you're interested in Hallmark Design Limited and the product range, have a look at a recent video, the Hallmark Impact Tolerant Touch Probe 6 year anniversary, where I go a bit more into the business and towards the end of the video talk about a business opportunity for somebody in the USA. Alright, well thanks for watching that episode or chapter. Hopefully you found something useful in there. And if you did, please like and subscribe. That helps with the YouTube algorithms, as you probably know, which brings it out there to more and more viewers. Um, please uh, stay with me and I will be editing and completing the next chapter or video and publishing it soon. Thanks for watching. Cheers.